Welcome to Chronicles of Comfort. Our reading of comfort is taken from 1 Corinthians 2, 9. But as it is written, I had not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. Billionaires Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and Richard Branson are all fascinated with space travel, and they are each behind ventures to get mankind into space. Elon Musk's space venture has already taken astronauts to the International Space Station, and Musk further desires to build a starship which will take approximately 100 individuals to Mars. Over the last few weeks, Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson were involved in a race to see who would first highlight a ship designed to take paying customers into space. Last Sunday on July 11th, Branson was successful as his mothership Eve took the VSS Unity to above 45,000 feet where it ignited its engine and made it into space. It was estimated that the six people on board were approximately 50 miles above the Earth. Branson had been working on this dream for 17 years. Jeff Bezos, venture is known as Blue Origin, and he and others are scheduled to fly into space next week. He auctioned a seat on the ship, and it is reported that someone placed a bid of $28 million for that fascinated trip. How would you like to travel through space? If we are faithful, one day we will also ride through space and into the kingdom of God. We will not have to pay for that ride because Jesus paid the price for us many years ago. Branson may have worked on his project for 17 years, but Jesus has been working on this trip for thousands of years. And he wants each of us to make this tremendous voyage with him. Accommodations are not limited for this trip. There is room for everyone. We will be taken up in the air to meet him and we will travel through space. I am not sure what we will see on that ride, but it will be much more glorious than any of us can imagine. Let us purpose in our hearts to make it and to travel with our God on that trip. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are indeed thankful for the hope that one day we will travel with you. Until that day, Lord, continue to keep us faithful, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for being with me today. And as always, may the Chronicles of the Bible provide comfort and salvation.